One of the most important things we can do as we approach 2012 and the shift is to connect with our higher guidance. When we connect with that higher guidance, we have inner tuition. And that inner tuition carries us through, carries us through throughout life and through an ascension experience. We need that. And this is what the ascension is all about, about connecting with that higher aspect of ourself, connecting with the higher guidance. Meditation is obviously one of the best ways that you can link with that inner guidance because with meditation, the messages can come with full-on verbal communication or energy that you translate into verbal communication, images, pictures, feelings. And when you're in meditation, you are in that zone, as it were, that, that state, that zero point. And what the aim here is, is to get the substance. So instead of having a, an imaginative thought form sitting next to you, you have a, a consciousness, a being in its own right with life force that's there for you. Sometimes you can have tricksters that won't actually be your guide. When you go into this with confidence, without fear, and you ask the higher dimensional guides to come to you, you ask this gatekeeper to be of Christ consciousness, of purity, of genuine aid, genuine help, you will have that. You will have that. Just entering into this space after having a communication with a being of Christ consciousness or visualizing a violet pyramid around you or a golden light around you will take you into a protective space. You and I are connecting personally. In the highest level there's only one of us on this planet and that person's you. On that level you are the only soul here, you're the only soul that exists and you are the all. You are everything. From the uh, third dimensional perspective, there are many, many of you listening to me right now and each one of you are the all. But from the truest perspective, from the perspective of the higher realms and from the perspective of the nine, there is only you. And because there's only you, you are so important and you are so loved because everything you do goes back to the all. Every feeling you have, every thought you have, every action you take, every time you take a new path in life and switch to another timeline, everything you do and think and feel goes back to the all bringing information and learning and responding to the one thought that the all gave out. When you were the all before you were you, you wanted to experience all and everything. You wanted to experience every vibration, every frequency, every thought, every feeling, every experience that you possibly could. And so you, you split yourself, you created other aspects of yourself, an infinite number of aspects of yourself. And that's who you are now. You're one of those aspects, but from the highest reality, you are the all. Therefore, I'm only communicating right now as me with one other person. And I, through the nine, give you now the protection that you need. The energy of the nine is with you. The energy of the all is with you from a service to others perspective. From a perspective of light and love and protection and oneness. From the perspective of the hope and the evolution of this planet. You are needed. You came here for a reason. You came here to be part of the collective group of all your other soul aspects to do something, to do a job. 
and you will be able to find out exactly what that job is, exactly what you need to do, and you will be able to step up and do it and take your place as we will all be taking our, pl our places simultaneously. And we will enter, and we are entering now, a place of strength as we come together. And in that coming together and in that taking your place, your rightful place and creating evolution in this entire dimension goes beyond planet earth creating and leading that evolution in doing that you come together with that aspect of you that is the all and that aspect of you that is the all is to be found through your inner teachers and through your little gatekeeper as you move into hyperspace. When you have that communication, you will then be able to ask the questions that you need to ask about 2012, what's happening in 2012, what can we do, how can we get through um, negative aspects within our family, how can we communicate with people who believe all this 2012 is, is rubbish, uh, what do we do when we don't believe it ourselves and we want to believe it? A really big one is, what about the people that have been waiting and waiting and waiting for change? And still, from their perspective, nothing is happening. They feel like just giving up. They feel like thinking all oh, this is a load of nonsense. These questions can be put to your guides, to your gatekeeper when that relationship has evolved. And you will have those answers. On one level, it, it is happening. And it's about kind of seeing it, seeing the light through the mundane, seeing the changes through what seems to be repetition. The, those changes are there. And again, it's like looking with the inner eye. It's like looking between the lines, reading between the lines of everything you see around you. It's like looking through what you see around you and the answers are there. So to those people who are waiting for something to happen, number one, it is already happening and it's a case of noticing it. But two, we aren't really supposed to be passively waiting for something. Just sitting there, well, you know, turn the telly on. Is there a report on the news? You know, has disclosure occurred yet in any kind of political movement? Um, let's go on the internet. Is there a new um, video or, or interview from someone who is um, moving forward in a uh, well-known capacity in the 2012 movement? Those things are, are great to keep your eye on and there are lots of people out there to um, be aware of and take note of their work because they are uh, doing a great job and informing us of what's happening. So yeah, do that. But we don't have to just take a passive role. We can take an active role on so many levels. And one way we can be truly proactive is through our connection with the higher self. Accessing the subtle whisperings of those inner teachers, that inner tuition. As we take those inner, subjective, personal journeys, we raise the overall global consciousness. We come together in telepathic union and in physical space union. This is our proactive stance. There are those who wonder how meditation can possibly be of help within the greater good. How can our personal meditations and inner communications create global change? Well, this is how it does. And there are many ways in which we can be proactive. Turning inward brings us to that central point and it is from that stance that we anchor ourselves so we may move forward in every other area of our lives, ultimately healing all. This is the whisperings of the nine through Magenta Pixie. Blessings and love to all.